And that's probably, honestly, one of the things that uh, frustrates me the most is that people don't see that. They're coming after the kids. They come after yeah. you when you're young. They're taking advantage of children's weakness. Like anybody, if you say, is it bad to take advantage of children? Almost everybody be like, yes. But that's all this. That's all they're doing. They are completely taking advantage of their lack of ability to cognitively process things at a level an adult can, right. and using it to shape them into the drones that they want them to be. And parents are sitting by and just setting them off. In our dream, we have limitless resources, and the people yield themselves with perfect docility to our molding hand. The present educational conventions fade from our minds, and unhampered by tradition, we work our own goodwill upon a grateful and responsive rural folk. We shall not try to make these people, or any of their children, into philosophers or men of learning or of science. We are not to raise up among them authors, orators, poets, or men of letters. We shall not search for embryo great artists, painters, musicians. Nor will we cherish even the humbler ambition to raise up from among them lawyers, doctors, preachers, statesmen, of whom we now have ample supply. You know, I think the main thing is you, you need to understand that, that, that it's intergenerational organized crime. It's not globalists. It's not elitists. It's not uh, deep state. It's not new world order. All of those terms are purposefully unhelpful and purposefully undescriptive terms. And they're you and the, the, the so that's number one. The other thing is they're using all of the techniques of an unethically manipulative cult to indoctrinate a hidden religion of statism, the belief in the desirability, the legitimacy, and the necessity of having a government, even though it's not desirable, it's not necessary, and it's not legitimate. So they're slipping it to kids as a religion. Instead of there being uh, a, a cross, there, or a Star of David, they've got the flag. Instead of there being the holy documents of the Bible and the Quran, they've got the Constitution. Instead of, instead of there being a church school, you go to the government church school. Yeah. Um, they, they, the Capitol building looks like the Vatican for a reason. <laughs> yeah. They take kids in fourth grade to Washington, D.C., and they take them into the temples yeah. along the Potomac, and they show them the deities, and it's always very solemn, it's very quiet, as they're indoctrinating these kids into the cult of statism. That's They put them in the uniform, the single form, so they, they take Cub Scouts, and they take uh, JROTC, and they take ROTC, and they take soldiers. Mm -hmm. They put them in the uniform, the single form conformity. They shave their heads. Uh, they move them and segment them off from the rest of society, and it produces, and I, and I don't like, I, I hate to say this, there's no other way of sugarcoating it. It produces a shave-headed cult member that's willing to goose step when you want him to goose step and is willing to kill people overseas. And they do, and the only reason they get away with it is because they're, they're, they're working on these kids before they're old enough to really understand what they're pledging their allegiance to. They're, they're, they're too young to really understand, is this moral? Is, is what I'm doing moral? Is this logical? Does yeah. this system make sense? Before they're already subscribed to it in a, in a kind of unethically manipulative way.